going on, man? Back to talk boxing today. Um, get straight to the point. Tyson Fury is overrated because overrated means people think you're better than what you really are. Doesn't mean that you're not good. It just means that people overrate you. You know, some people are underrated, meaning they're better than what people think they are. For the Fury fans to say that he's not overrated, you know, and say he's his greatest thing since he's Ali and all this crazy ass shit. If Wilder is a bum, please make it make sense on why you are celebrating so much. Or, how does it make Fury great by beating Wilder? Who, did, who else did he beat that was so great? You could say Klitschko, but he was like, what, 38, right? We all know he's not beating Vidali, or Lennox Lewis, or Mike Tyson, or Ali, or Frazier. He's not beating none of them guys. The problem is Wilder is just that bad. See, Wilder is um, 6'7". He has the heart and he has the power, but that's it. He doesn't have anything else. And that's what y'all are not getting. If that was Ali or somebody in there last night, Fury would have been finished once he got hit that canvas. He had a bell saved him too in the long count, but we're not going to get into that. I really don't care. All I know is Wilder is too easy to hit. Wilder does not have a jab. You know, he doesn't use his jab if he does have it. He doesn't use anything to make Fury um, have to fight. It's easy for Fury. The only thing Fury really got worried about is not getting uh, knocked out. But as far as boxing wise, it's too easy. You've seen so many times where Wilder is wide open. That's like a punching bag. That would not happen if that was Ali or somebody like that. He would not be able to pull that off. And this is why when he fights, you know, a lot of those under card fighters, he struggles. Because a lot of them under card fighters are solid boxers. They might not have power like Wilder, but they're solid boxers. Fury gets hit clean a lot too. The reason why Wilder looks so good is because he has the power and the size. So as long as a guy is not bigger than him or even as big as him, then it doesn't matter if the boxer really has better skills than him because they might not have a they might not have the jab to keep him off like Fury does. That's basically what it boils down to. He does not know how to, he doesn't know how to dodge a jab and he doesn't know how to use his jab, apparently. And, uh, and I'm a Wilder fan, you know, I'm a fan of boxing in general. You know, really I'm more of a Wilder person fan, like what he did for his daughter and things like that. I think he should retire, I wouldn't fight no more. There's no point. I don't wanna see him fight no more. I don't wanna see you beat somebody else, but you didn't beat Fury, you know? So it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. I wouldn't even fight no more. It is what it is. Unless you're just getting a bag, you know. Get your bag, I guess. But I'm not paying attention to it. You couldn't do what you're supposed to do. You know, it is what it is. But it's not because Fury was so great. It's just that Wilder is so bad. You know, and I hate to say it in that, in that term. Because he's not bad when it comes to people who are not as big as him, right? He can overcome that. He can overcome them outboxing him. You see him get outboxed almost every fight. So I don't understand why people act like he's the number two heavyweight. Fury's saying that to make the other heavyweights think that, oh, well, he be Wilder, so I can't beat Fury. That's all Fury's doing. I still think Joshua beats Fury. The only thing, uh, only hard thing about it would be Fury getting back up from that 
getting back from being knocked down from Joshua. You know what I mean? How would he react? But as far as him fighting Joshua versus Wilder, it's not even a, it's not going to be the same fight at all. He tried to say Joshua is bigger or easier fight than Wilder. Translation: Joshua is not easier fight than Wilder. Fury plays mind games with people. Why is Joshua not an easier fight than Wilder? Because the only thing that Wilder really has on Joshua is power. And maybe heart. But then again, yeah, maybe heart and power. That's about it, man. Nothing else, really. At all. At all. I wouldn't be surprised if Usyk beats Fury because Fury's strong. Look at how Wilder did it. And, all, and look at the fight that he actually lost against the white dude. Look, look same stature as the... Uh, you, you say same thing. He struggles against shorter fighters like that because they were able to get inside that jab. Something Wilder is not able to do. That's all it boils down to is the jab because he's big. That's what makes Fury seem so great because he's big. But all the classic heavyweights will get around that jab, and you got to worry about their jab. He didn't have to worry about Wilder's jab. So if I don't got to worry about your jab and you can't fuck with my jab, it's an easy fight, man. That's all it is. It does not make him Ali. But y'all gonna say that because that's y'all and y'all feelings. Just like, you know, Wilder fans and their feelings thinking he's better than what he really is. Just like on that spin around and then he got knocked out. You should not be that wide open. He does not keep his hands up, man. He does not have movement, foot movement. It's unfortunate. It's, it's sad that he started boxing so late, that's why. Experience too is why he, uh, he can't beat Fury. It's sad that he, he started boxing so late, but he made a great life out of it, so who cares? It wasn't meant for him to be, you know, some all-time great or whatever. But if he started earlier, there's no way Fury would have beat Wilder. He can't beat Wilder at Fury been boxing all his life, and Wilder started at 20, and he barely beat him. You could say he dominated him and all this and all that. Not really, man. Only thing is, Wilder gets hit easy, basically. That's the tell of the tape, man. But at the same time, if you're so great, why are you getting dropped by somebody who's basically an amateur? If you really want to, if you really want to look at it, Wilder's basically an amateur. It's just that he got God-given ability that makes him a professional, or makes him on a professional level playing field. But he's really an amateur at boxing. Look how he moves and stuff, dog. His his arms are wide open, wide open for shots all day long. This is this doesn't happen with professional boxers, man. But y'all can say what y'all want and say Fury's great and all this. Nah, Wilder's just that bad, man. I hate to say it. Because I was once like y'all. Didn't understand so much about boxing as much as I do now. Now I see why people say Wilder's not a good boxer. He's not. He's just not. Now, if they fought in a street fight, he might win. He's a fighter. He's not a boxer. Fighting in a street fight, though. If Wilder and Fury fought in a street fight, there's no ref breaking it up and all that. So you you don't get to use all that technical boxing shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, there's no excuse for somebody in professional boxing to get hit that easy. It's easy for Fury to hit him. He was wide open all night long because he's not really as good as y'all think. Again, he made a great life. He fed it. He got he got his daughter out of uh, that sickness and all that. That's that's some good ass shit. But. You start boxing at 20, it shows. Fury's been boxing all his life. And he's still basically almost on the same level. He's, he's, he's a little bit above Wilder. But he's been boxing 20 more years than Wilder. But he's he's that great guy, right? He's Ali, right? I don't think so. Because Ali's going to use his jab. Ali's going to dodge your punches. You're not going to be able to just throw that jab. You're not going to be able to hit a wide open target like Wilder. Fury knows Wilder's easy to hit. And he knows that Wilder's not the second best heavyweight. That's psyching out AJ and all the others to make them think he can't be be beat. But he can be beat. All it takes is a solid boxer that, that knows how to use their jab and footwork and could dodge his jab. That's it. That's all it's going to take to beat Fury. It's not going to take much more. It don't take much more. A solid boxer with good offense because he's, he, he's pretty decent at dodging punches. But again, we are talking about Wilder. Telegraphing punches and shit like that. How come he didn't dodge Wilder's punches when he got cut all in his face and all that shit? Hmm? What about the fight he lost against the white dude? Who nobody even knows. This guy is a no-name. And Fury really lost. Let's be honest about it. I forget his name. 
He's not that good, man. I'm not saying he's bad. You know what I mean? But he's not as good as y'all are saying he is. I'm not going to say he's not a good uh, fighter. He's not as good as y'all are saying he is, though. Just like Wilder, what ain't. This whole heavyweight division ain't. And as far as skinheads and this and that, man, we got Ali, we got Frazier. We got, I could go on and on and on. Congratulations, Fury's better than an amateur black boxer. Because y'all love to throw that out there. He got beat by the he got beat by the white guy. Yeah, amateur black boxer beat Ali, though. Fury don't stand a chance against Ali or none of them. You know why? Because they're actually they're actual boxers. They actually throw their jab. They actually dodge your jab. They don't leave themselves wide open and all this other shit. You lean on them, you can't, you're bound to catch an uppercut. Oh yeah, let's not forget the stamina part either. Even though dude looked like he was high on coke. Or probably steroid up. Who knows? At 270, stamina like that and shit. But either way, y'all, don't feel bad about it. Wilder is not um, no Ali, man. He, he Wilder made it as far as he made it because he has power and size. That's it. He has power and he has size. So really, Wilder is an amateur boxer, but he's able to be on a, a, a professional playing field because he has the size and he has the power. That's what bailed him out this whole time. And his heart. Now, Wilder has hella heart. But he started boxing at 20 years old. Fury been boxing all his life, right? If Wilder been boxing all his life, his footwork would be different. He, he would be able to jab. He would be able to dodge Fury's jab. He would not be wide open letting it be like a punching bag to Fury. I'm telling y'all, man, Fury is not as good as y'all think he is. If you really know boxing, it's too easy. It's too easy to hit Wilder. He knows that. Let him fight somebody like Joshua or something like that. He might win, but it's not going to be that easy. You got to worry about offense coming back, right? You got to worry about footwork. Wilder's always out of position and all these things because he's an amateur at boxing. He just gets away with it because of his power and his size. So when he fights somebody who has size and has decent boxing ability, it's, it's damn near a wrap unless he catches them. It's been seen time and time again with Wilder being outboxed by a, a boxer and then he catches him and that's how he wins, right? Same thing. The only difference is Fury is a little bit better than amateur, or the, the uh, yeah, the amateur boxers and he's bigger. So by him having that size, he can overcome what Luis Ortiz could not overcome because Luis Ortiz was outboxing um, Wilder, right? But he don't have that size like Fury. You know, Fury got that jab that Wilder does not know how to dodge. But Ali would dodge that. Frazier would dodge that. All them great uh, boxers that y'all cl claim the, that Fury is on the level of, they would, dodge, do they would dodge those jabs and have jabs of their own coming back. See, I, I, can, I can keep my stamina when I ain't got to worry about Wilder's jab. All he's do doing is trying to uh, knock my head off. He's he not throwing no jabs, no, no uppercuts, no nothing. He not coming in Mike, like Mike Tyson, none of that. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. It's sad. It's a sad state. But the United States men need to stand the fuck up. If you're going to box, box, man. All this bullshit, you know, pretty boy shit, fuck all that, man. It's time to get back to the basics. We got Ali's. We got Tyson's. We got Fraser's. We got all these people in our blood. What the fuck are y'all doing, man? It's time to get back to the basics. There's no excuse for this shit. There's no excuse for you to be wide open. You know, you, you spin around, dude, wide open, easy, boom. It's easy for him, man. The only thing he had to worry about is Wilder's power. He didn't have to worry about Wilder's footwork, angles. A lot of y'all don't know boxing. That's why y'all don't know what the fuck you're seeing, right? Nevertheless, man, and you dealing with a bigger guy. But again, I guarantee you somebody like Mike Tyson, Holyfield, remember he fought that big ass dude before? People like that, stop comparing Fury to them because it's not it's not it's not true. Because Fury got dropped by an amateur boxer twice. Wilder's an amateur boxer, he still dropped Fury. Really, he should have won the first one, but the ref didn't weigh it off. We know why. Nevertheless, man, I'm not saying he's not a good boxer. I'm just saying y'all are overrating him, and that's the fucking fact. And for 
those that saying you not overrate him. You the you the same ones that say Wilder's a bum. So if Wilder is a bum and he beat a bum, how does that make Fury great? Make it make sense. If Wilder is a bum and he beat Fury, how does that make him great? Someone answer why Fury won't fight Luis Ortiz. Sound perfectly. Look what happens to Fury when he fights boxers that are sound. Cut all eye and shit. He lost to the other white dude that nobody knows. Amateur, nobody knows. He lost to it. But they didn't say he lost, but go back and watch it. Type in YouTube Fury lost. The day Fury lost. He lost to that white dude. Even Fury's dad said he lost, right? I just don't want y'all to be uh, sad about this shit. Wilder is just... The reason why Wilder can't beat Fury is because he doesn't use his jab and he doesn't know how to deal with Fury's jab. That's it. If, if Wilder was it started boxing at a younger age, I don't even... There would be no comparison because he's already close to Fury's level already. 20 years later, then... Well, I ain't gonna say he didn't train as a baby. He started, what, six or something like that? So, okay, 15 years or something, Right? Boxing is different than fighting. Now, if they both fought in the street, it would probably be a different story. It would be a different story probably. But fighting and boxing, it's, it's, it's different than what y'all thinking, man. Just punching the shit. It's a whole lot of shit that's going on. So, that's why experience plays a part. Footwork and all that shit out of position. Your, your, your um, hands are down. All this shit matters, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Still overrated to me. Good fighter, but overrated. People are saying he's Ali, and, and and technically he only beat Klitschko, and Klitschko was like 38. So who else has he really beat that was a top level fighter? You can't say Wilder, because Wilder technically, as a boxer, is not a top level fighter. He just on a top level because of his power and size. Meaning he's big. If you're smaller than him, of course he can get it off. Just like Fury is bigger than Wilder. That's why he gets a lot off that he would not get off with a great boxer. Or even a boxer his size, he would not get that off. Not like that, he wouldn't. You wouldn't see Ali with his arms down. Ali ain't doing that. Now you gotta worry about Ali's jab coming back. You gotta you gotta play defense, which is gonna tire you out. But if you ain't gotta play defense, then you can just sit around and do what you want and just throw your little ass jab. You know what I mean? And constantly hit a motherfucker that don't know he's he's an amateur. He doesn't know what to do. So it is what it is, man. Plain and simple, man. But um. It still is a good ass fight. Still think AJ beats uh, Fury. AJ's more technically sound than Wilder. Only thing Wilder got on AJ is uh, maybe heart. I can't carve in the motherfucker's body and see, but heart and power. But AJ still has heart and he still has power, and he's completely technically sound versus it's not. It's night and day. Fury's gonna tell you though, Wilder's the second best heavyweight because he wants AJ and them to think. That, oh, we don't have a chance because he beat Wilder. That's bullshit. AJ's a better fighter than Wilder. reason why Wilder might beat AJ is because if he catches it. If not, then he wins. There's no way Wilder beats AJ because AJ's just as good as a, a boxer as Fury. But let y'all tell it. It's not the truth, and that's bullshit, and y'all know it. Y'all have a good day.